Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. I am going to do a Gemini Rainbow LGBTQ plus love prediction reading for July 10th July, through July 16th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my fun, eccentric, lovable, sweet, kind, giving Geminis. Show me what's going on, my Geminis. Show me, spirit guys, what you got going on. Let's see. Wheel of Fortune. Five of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. And the Knight of Swords. Well, I don't know what the problem is here, but I see this Wheel of Fortune here. Um, this Wheel of Fortune is... Um, Things were going really good between you and someone. I mean, the karma was there. All was good. And then, I, I'm going to say uh, something happened. Someone got into their victim mode here, feeling like they're not good enough. Feeling like something that, that this person wasn't uh, giving them what they needed, what they wanted. Or possibly even thinking that this person was even cheating on them. That their significant other was even cheating on them or something. But that's not true. That's not true. And what has happened here is that... The Four of Pentacles is in the middle of this reading. Somebody got insanely, stupidly jealous. And it caused the relationship to be rocky now. Now the relationship is rocky. Because right here, you see, you see this right here? This Four of Pentacles, it does mean stability, but it's also someone that's trying to hold on to everything. You know, this whoever this woman is, she's, it's, she's insanely jealous. She wants to be you. Be with you and you to only be with her. You cannot live a relationship. You cannot be in a relationship like this. She also has, has that victim mode that, you know, and let me say this. She has a mode of, well, first of all, Gemini's are very flirty. I mean, they are. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a family full of Gemini's. But Gemini's are very flirty. Gemini, Gemini's are very free. They like to be free. They like to be able to do what they want to do. They don't like to be tied down. Um, but they love and, and they love and you love this person. But the problem is, is that this person is driving you up a flipping wall because of this jealousy here and this victim mentality that they have. It's almost like they want to stay under you all the time and that's not going to work for you. You need space. You need to have space. You love them, but you need to have space. Now I see the nine of swords here in, in the next card after this, um, this jealousy and possessive card. I see the Nine of Swords, and the Nine of Swords is all about having nightmares, having bad dreams. And, you know, I strongly believe this is you. This is you having nightmares and having dreams because the problem is that you love this person, but this, pro pro this person is driving you up a wall, and all you do is worry about what's, what next. There's no peace with you and this person. There is no peace because you don't know what's next. Every time you think it's going great, you're enjoying life, having fun. And then some, they come with something else. That's what I see. Whoever this is, whoever this woman is, she's just insanely jealous. And then I have the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is all about courage and bravery. Courage. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm not quite sure because this Knight of Swords is looking at this Nine of Swords. And for me, when I see this Knight of Swords, I, and you see, she's charging. She's going forward. Now, she's looking at the Nine of Swords. And I think this is you that's kind of had just a little bit of enough of this bull that's going on, this mess. This person needs to get it together because I think you're just about ready to leave them alone, no matter what, because you can't have peace. You're not, you don't, you don't like not, you don't, you're not one of those um, zodiac signs that can put up with a lot of stress. 
they, they're stressing you out. And I see here with this Knight of Swords, you are bravely and courageously moving forward. And it's looking at this Nine of Swords. And when I say that, this, I believe that one more thing, one more thing, and you're going to be out of this relationship. One more thing. That's just what I see. So now, give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading. Let me just see. Let me clarify and see what the Spirit guys additional information the spirit guys want you to know why is this will of fortune here and you know the thing is with the will of fortune leading the reading that means all was good there was no reason for them to act like that it was no reason for them to be jealous um your personality is very airy uh flighty i mean you're very um you flirt you do and they don't like it but i'm just saying to you you got to figure out this relationship because I see a lot of pentacles. This could be an earth sign as well. I see a lot of pentacles here as well. So let's see. And an earth sign could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. So let's see why this Wheel of Fortune is here. Show me spirit, guys. Sit back, relax. Let me see. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for my Geminis? What I say to you? This tower is here. This tower here. You buy, you, a hey, the tower means that, hey, you about to blow this up suddenly because, like I said, you're tired of it. You're tired, and I'll say it again. That tower means that this is everything's going good, and they've they've messed it up. And here, this tower is. It means that you're blowing that this relationship is about to end suddenly because just one more thing, just one more thing, and the tower lets me know that just one more thing. So let's see why the five of pentacles here. Show me why the five of pentacles is here. Show me spirit guides. Oh, I have a Knight of Wands. I had a Knight of Wands. Now, <laughs> the Knight of Wands is my is my uh, card of one of. This is definitely a card for you, Jim. And I'm just gonna bring it out like this. Perhaps you told this person that you didn't want to be in this relationship with them, or perhaps you told them that you had other people. And I think you may have told them that. And they didn't accept that. They feel like they're the victim here with this five of pentacles. because. But you told them because Knight of Wands is one of those very passionate energy. But Knight of Wands is one of those energies, uh, on and off energy. Um, and I definitely see that you could have told this person that and they can't handle it. They can't handle it. But and I, and I certainly understand. But my thing is why even try to play with you if they know that's exactly how you are. So let's see why this four of pentacles is here. Show me spirit guys. Because I see this person where every time your phone rings, whatever, when, when you're with them. They get into a serious funk. So let's see. Oh, I have the Empress. I have the Empress here. Well, when I see the Empress, I'm going to tell you. There's a couple of things that I see here. They're very possessive and very jealous. Um, let me say this to you. The Empress is someone that um, knows how to talk to people. The empress can also be someone that may want to be pregnant or may be expecting a child. Um, but I don't necessarily think that right now with you. I think this is someone, the reason why you're with this person, I think that the empress can speak life into a situation. She can speak life into a situation when it comes to another person. Even though this person here is very jealous and possessive, the empress can speak life to her. She can speak life. When I say speak life, she knows what to do, how to say it. You know, she knows how to help you. She's she's a person that can be there to help you come up if you're in business and trying to grow. She's kind of like the muse. The empress is like the muse. And I'm going to say this to you. I think that this person is your muse, and I think that's why you're with them. They're your person that, that, egg, that tells you it's all going to be okay, everything's okay, everything's all right. And here's the four of pentacles. They're so possessive and jealous of you because they are your muse. They are your muse. They're, they're the ones that tell you it's all going to be okay. But the problem is, <laughs> just because they tell you that doesn't necessarily mean they get to control you because you have told them. You're not looking to be uh, with one person. The, the Knight of Wands is on and off. And they have other friends as well. So let's see why the Nine of Swords is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Nine of Swords here for my Geminis? Two of Swords. You're stuck. Because guess what? This muse. This is your muse. This is your person. Even though they're possessive and jealous, you know you. this person 
is is very giving to you. This person knows how to talk to you. This person calms you down. This person is just there for you. That's why it's hard for you to walk away from this person. But yet and still, that's why you see this two of swords. That two of swords means you're stuck in the middle. You don't know what to do. It's almost it's like the twins. The twins are coming out. It's like one twin says go, the next twin says stay. It's up to you though. Let's see why this Knight of Swords is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Oh, I have the Queen of Wands. Whenever I see my Queen of Wands, that's my girl. My Queen of Wands is, is wifey. Now I'm going to tell you straight up. You are trying, I think you Gemini too, um, don't, um, are trying to run from this possibly. When I say run from this, and I'm being very honest with you, I really see that too with this Knight of Swords because this Knight of Swords is courageous. Um, it is um, swiftly moving to courage or bravery, having bravery. Now, let me say this to you. You have said that. I'm going to, at the beginning, let me see. Queen of Wands is wifey. But I'm going to go to the beginning and talk to you about this a little bit. Because the will of fortune, things are moving in your favor with this person. But then here's the tower here because you're about to do a sudden breakup. But I don't think it's at your best interest to do this breakup. The five of pentacles is here because you feel like they they always a crime victim. But you've told them that you didn't, you are on and off. You're there, you're there for them. But yet you have other friends. You like your freedom. You have other friends. And you've told them that, but they want more because they're very possessive and very jealous. Well, here's the problem. They're the empress to you. They're your muse. They tell you exactly what you need to know, what you need to hear. They're there for you. They can speak life into you when you're down. This is just not an ordinary person. You've said one thing. But your actions, I think, are showing them another. Because here's the Nine of Swords. And this Nine of Swords means you're stuck. You you have nightmares because you don't know what the next thing is. What is the next? You don't want to lose them, but you don't want to keep going back and forth with this jealousy issue as well. But here's the evil twins coming out. Not, not evil twins. It's just your dual personality coming out with this Two of Swords. Um, because there's two swords there. There's uh, And you're stuck. You're just stuck because you don't want to let this person go. And the Two of Swords is all about um, being stuck. But I see one twin telling you one thing on one um, shoulder, the next twin telling you another thing. But here's what I think is going to happen. I'm going to be very honest with you. You're not going to let this person go. It's not a source of you're being courageous, brave. You're going to marry this person with this queen of wands. If you don't marry her, you're going to establish a relationship with her. You're going to drop everyone else. There's not going to be this tower. There's not going to be this breakup. There's not going to be a sudden breakup. Even though you said one more thing, it's not going to happen. You're going to be with this person. So let me see what my oracles have to say to you. Let's see what my oracles have to say. Well, it says, I love you so much, no matter what. And you really, really do. You love this person. You figure out what they're worth to you as well. And that's what I have for you for your rainbow love prediction reading Gemini.